Here we go. It's Saturday night showdown time here at the Motorpoint Arena. The team making their way into the barn tonight are the old enemy, the Sheffield Steelers. It's good news for the Panthers because Chris Stewart makes his way back into the lineup after a short spell in hospital. Panthers still miss Olsen and Risling, but Risling will be back on Wednesday as much needed reinforcements. Tonight's game is sponsored by Premier Facilities Maintenance, the team that fixed stuff at your place of work and proud sponsors of the Panthers. The highlight show is sponsored by the Nottingham legend, Nottingham's number one family-friendly hockey pub. It's time to go to the action. Forwarded from the neutral zone, Guptill's one-on-one -on -one with Whistle here, shoots good save by Jackson Whistle. Who's with the puck and he always makes smart decisions. There's Martinelli towards the net wide, still alive for the Steelers. Wrap around and they've scored, it's the opener. Evan McGrath, it came off the boards at the back, Garnett. Looked like he lost it and it was easy enough for McGrath. Yeah, McGrath, they're one of their best offensive players. Like you said, simple face-off win, back to the point. Martinelli throws it in just wide, takes a bad bounce. And you see there, I think Garns thought uh, McGrath was going to try and stuff it. And he just wraps it around. There's no way Garns can get over, reset his feet and get around there. But great play by Evan McGrath there. 130 of this power play left. First one shot from Hughes, saved again by Whistle. Good work so far from the Panthers. Already had a couple of shots, but Whistle level to them. Chris Stewart, John Rowe. Again, Whistle has it. Last 20 seconds of the power play. Here is Brett Pellini now. Scored the winner against Belfast in the last Elite League game for the Panthers. Shot there, good save by Whistle. Puck still alive. Steelers are scratching to get it away. Final five seconds. As the crowd get behind the Panthers. And it's gone in. Not the most aesthetic goal the Panthers will ever score. Or Mark Hurtubees. But it counts exactly the same as Evan McGrath's did. One all. Yeah, great power play by the boys. Robert Farmer had a great day there right before. And Whistle made a great save. Big block there. And I think it just bounces all the way in. Yeah, unfortunate for Whistle and Davy Phillips. Hurtubey shoots that one. Davy Phillips does a great job doing what you want him to do. He gets down and blocks it. And it just takes a bad bounce and beats Whistle. And that looked like about the only way they were going to beat Whistle on this power play. So the boys will take it. And you know what? When you shoot pucks, good things happen. They're one for one on the power play and they're back level. So Lakovic, good shift from him this time around. Shot again. It's still alive. It's dropped out. Can Lakovic poke it in? He can't. I don't know how Jackson Whistle saved that. I was expecting the net to bulge. Great shot by Pither. The rebound's right there for Rob Lakovic. We're going to watch this again here. Pither, great, great job again. Like we said, there's no such thing as a bad shot. The puck squirms free. In comes Lacko here. Empty net. And Whistle dives and makes the save of the season, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Garns made a save like that against Cardiff last time we were on here. And Jackson Whistle has just made an unbelievable glove save. Across to Stevie Lee. O'Connor's missed it. Stewart got two Panthers inside him. Holds off shot. Saved by Whistle on the rebound. Gone wide. Here we go. Here's the Panthers chance where... See that move from Chris Stewart there. Yeah, that's just great composure. You know, that falls anywhere else and Farms just pots that in the empty net. But They win it off the face-off. We've had 10 seconds and it's come out to this right side. Evan McGrath got the first. Josh Pitt trying to work it round. It's still alive and it's put into his own net, I think, by Ollie Betridge. Unfortunate, but as when the sides are putting on pressure in the power play, you can't really assess the options as well as normal. Yeah, it was hard there. We'll see what happens. McGrath does a good job. It comes here. No, I think it was uh, Owens there who gets a piece of that. So he makes a nice play. Great play by the Steelers. Go T to D, go down low. When it gets down low by the net, that's when you can outnumber them. Two on ones, three on twos. And uh, Owens kind of opened there in front. Ollie couldn't get a stick on him. And he just kind of muffins that over the line in the end. But, you know, it gets there. And uh, same as the Panthers were one for one on the power play. Steelers one for one. And nice, nice play by Owens there. Been in the right place at the right time. And he pots that one home. Down to Farms. Farms, got his, he's battling there. Yeah, he just goes, he, he just tries to lift his stick and he gets a uh, piece of the face there with a shot of his stick. So that's going to be two minutes. Here's Owens. 
just scored shot and he scored again no doubt who's got that one Jordan Owens has put the Sheffield Steelers up by three goals to one yeah and if his first shot he didn't get all of it he definitely got all of the second one he was looking at Davy Phillips like he was going to dish it and then he just rips that over the glove of Garnett and we've been saying how good Garns is on the glove side but Owens walks in and fires that right over the glove we'll see if we get another look at this one but nice composed play by him bench well but just couldn't create and now we'll see uh, if it's McFadden going to the box. I didn't see what that was for. It was a little bit away from the play. I'm going to check through. Bit of a trip on uh, John Rowe just in front of Jackson Whistle's net there. Gets it back round. Bolduc finds Kovacs. Nice play. Will he score? It's saved by Jackson Whistle. Nice work between 15 and 49 there. Yeah, great play there by Bolduc. And he finds Kovacs right in the house, right where he'd want to be. Great dish here by Baldy there. And it finds Covian again, high-end skilled guy right in the slot. But you see Jackson whistle big out, heels on the crease. Just try and get a push here, get some energy and get some pucks to the net, trying to try and cause something in front of Jackson whistle. Perhaps it's now, Pither to Kovacs, Guptil. Josh Pitt gets it inside to Zanosi there and that will perhaps be the clincher. 4-1 yep. to Sheffield with 5.27 to go. Yeah, I think that's probably going to do it, unfortunately, just with the way uh, how long's left in the game and, you know, not creating too many chances at the moment. You see a couple of people heading for the exit there, but Zoski there with a, with a great play. And like we said, the Steelers are going to sit back and then if they get a chance, they'll try and take it. Pellini back to Henderson. Round to 19, Farmer. Shot from Stevie Lee, Puck still alive, Stewart shot on the turn, it's gone in, 2.24 left Dan, are we going to have a comeback? Yeah there's definitely still life in it here, I see a few people turning around and getting back in their seats and you know what there's still time and if anyone can do it it's this Panthers team so Stewart there, turns and fires, Whistle gets a bit of it, he's been great tonight and he gets a bit of that one but he can't quite, uh, quite keep it out and the big power forward NHL Pither, Hurtubees, Kovacs, Rowe and Guptil out there. Here's Justin Kovacs, Stewart. Fans get behind the Panthers, towards and across, Kovacs on the back door. Still alive over there with Hurtubees. Off the boards there, and Martinelli all the way up the other end of the ice, and that... It's how you finish a game from Ryan Martinelli. Yeah, he ices this one from his own end. Great play by him. And you know what? Even though we had the power play, which is obviously a huge advantage, sometimes when you have the goalie out, you almost don't want it because now they can shoot it down the ice. If that doesn't go in, it's not icing. So you can just keep firing him down the ice. But Martinelli, probably not known for his, uh, his goal scoring, but he rips that one right in the middle of the net from his own end. Chris, we'll start first with your health. How are you doing? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, doing better. I think... Uh you know, I discharged from the hospital this morning at 11 a.m. And, uh, you know, my first text was, <laughs> was to the coach and not my wife, actually. So, uh, yeah, you know, I wanted to play tonight. And, you know, I felt like I let the team down the other night and not be able to play in the, uh, in the Challenge Cup game. So, you know, I was a little rusty tonight. But, uh, you know, I wanted to come out and, you know, give everything I had for the team. And you got a goal, of course, but in a, in a game that obviously wasn't the right result. Yeah, a little too late. But when, uh, you know, it was a stinker. You know, we, uh, that's an easy one to get up for. It's our biggest rival. Place was packed. The fans were into it. And we came up short. So, uh, yeah, you know, no one in the dressing room is, is happy right now. Everyone has a sour taste in their mouth. And, uh, you know, we got to get back to the drawing board and got a couple good practices here and, you know, put our work boots on and, you know, get ready for Coventry on Wednesday. Back here on Wednesday, will that help? I mean, I sure hope so. You know, uh, we won't have too many answers in that dressing room right now. But, you know, uh, tough times don't last. Tough, tough people do. So, uh you know, we got to play for each other, you know, for the, for the crest on the front of the jersey, not for the name on the back. And, uh, you know, if our fans stand behind us and, you know, they deserve a better product than the ice. Thank you, Chris. I'm looking to talk.